Hi guys, I just want to do a quick video showing the new 3-axis combos and just even with like something like Vishuda because I actually think Vishuda is kind of strong in this deck. Um, it's a free level 7 summon that the level 3 aspect really only matters in this deck with making Cherubini or Synchroing for the shooting Riser Dragon. So beyond that, like I'd rather have something that's a Chalice and an Extender. So let me just show a quick... You know, a little combo. Just showing how cool Sangan is now. Now, when I was testing this deck at first, I uh, did not know that this card was errated. So, I was adding the Adventurer card, and then I was doing using its effect. So, it's good to know that you can't do that, and the card we actually do add is an Inherent Summon anyway. Alright, so to get started, we Special the Fushuda. Uh, normal to Sangan, obviously. Make an Amirage. Then we're going to add the Arborea, and we're able to special summon it to a Link Zone. And it's an Inherent Summon, so it isn't hindered by Sangan, Hulk, Fab Fibrax, uh, Special Red Rose Dragon. Then we're going to Synchro with both of them into our Baron, Red Rose Dragon Effect, summon the other Rose Dragon, add Basil Red Rose Shoot, um, activate Basil Rose Shoot. Then we're going to make our Cherubini. Cherubini effects, get to our adventurer package. No, I'll know how to do this one now. Um, get our fateful adventurer. Then we're going to summon Predator Plant so we have a card to discard because, you know, we don't need any random cards or any blanks for this combo. Then we get our Griffin Rider, discard the Draco back, re equips, summon the Griffin Rider, use Anaconda so we get two Omni Negates and a DPE just with Sangan and Vishuda. And, you know, a lot of these cards are interchangeable. We could have maybe done the same thing with, you know, some other cards that are plus ones. But uh, let's get into some more. So this one is with Sangan and Enchantress. I just want to get the Sangan ones out of the way because, I mean, it is kind of cool. It's a one card, uh, two summons. So we're going to use the Adventurer at the right. Get the Fateful Adventurer, get the Draco back by summoning the Sangan, so we have something to discard for a Griffin. It's free, re equips, especially Griffin. Make the Amirage, so now we're playing around Nibiru. Same thing here, we just saw before. Get the Hulk Fabrex, especially the Rose. Make a Baroness. Then get another Rose, pretty cool card. It's three level three tuners. Make our Yazi, equip spell goes to the grave, get our Mare Mare, use the Mare Mare in the token, so we've used our Mare Mare one time so far. That's going to get our Scythe and our Dagda by activating the Mare Mare for a second time. Get our Link Spider, because Predator Plant is two effect monsters. We're going to special summon another token for the third time for Mare Mare. And then here we get a Rose Dragon. And I'm just going to show you real quick if we had another level 3 extender in our hand. So like another enchantress because you can um, special summon it while you have the token. Just what you could do. So you could actually make the riser dragon. And this sends snow which is pretty broken right. Because we have 16 cards in the graveyard right now. And then you would make a boral load on their turn with uh, the scythe set and the riser dragon. So that's a pretty cool combo. But without that, we still do some pretty good stuff. We're still going to get DPE through droplets because uh, monsters sent from the hand are actually banished. So that means they can only use spells and traps, but we can negate that with our Baron. So pretty insane. Don't care that we're banishing the Pot of Greed because, like I said, we're, our opponent's not going to be able to play next turn. Let's get into another one. It's with Enchantress and Red Rose Dragon. Pretty sick hand, I think. Now, I don't, like, this deck still does really cool stuff, I think, without the Enchantress, like I showed with the first combo. Uh, we summon the Red Rose because of, you know, obvious reasons. We have to. <laughs> Gonna Synchro into the Baron. Doesn't matter, because we went from an Omni Negate to another Omni Negate. Gonna make the Yazi, because it specials Mare Mare, which is broken. Uh, my Quip Spell should be in the graveyard. Mare Mare Effect, uh, special token. And this is because I had to use two different cards. Now, yeah, so I had to use two different cards to make Dagda. I couldn't just use two tokens, so that's why I had to do that. Going to use Mare Mare and the Dagda into Anaconda. 
and I'm really showcasing with this, like with the combos I'm doing right now, just, you know, what we can do with just the engine. Because I see so many level 3 spammed in this deck, and I'm not sure if that's correct. I also don't know if you need, like, so many cards. But, like we did before, we got the DP Scythe combo. Pretty much good as gold. Uh, gonna be any deck that's not, like, Eldritch. Um, was this one? I'm confused. Sorry, one sec. I just want to make sure this is different. Okay. Yeah, so this is the same one. Alright, so now let's do another hand. This is with something like Ash, Enchantress, and Vishuda. Um, just a final hand to just see what we could do if we had an extra card. So Enchantress is going to add right. Right's going to special summon the token. We're going to get Faithful Adventurer. We're going to special the Vishuda because that's a normal monster. Pretty sweet. Get our Draco back. Discard the Draco back for free. Okay, alright, sweet. So I'm doing things out of order. But, yep, the Draco back was discarded. We're going to actually use the Vishuda and the uh, Ash to make Hulk because it's just special summoning three level three tuners from deck is just too broken. And then it's pretty much more of the same stuff. We're just trying to, like, really, you know, get into your head that this is really just the same play every time. <laughs> You're just trying to do it with any combination of cards. And there's a lot of cards that function for the same thing, so it's pretty cool. As we've seen, Magician Souls is um, being played. I think Magician Souls is such a cool card for Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm glad it came out. Um, free Extender, that's also potential plus two with this Adventurer nonsense. I, I really hate this engine, though, if I'm being honest. But we're doing really cool stuff. Um, I think I'm just showing you what you could have done with an extra level three if you had it with uh mirror mirror but um yeah you would do that on their turn so pretty broken always the same stuff i hope you enjoyed the video i try to make it quick um i'm sorry for that little ramble right there with the hand but i just wanted to make sure that it wasn't like the same thing so i had same two of the same tab open for whatever reason sorry for being inactive I'm really busy with college, and I've also been trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively. There's this YCS coming up, and whenever I get on this like competitive edge, then I'm not making videos, and I really need to turn that around to where I'm doing both, but and not let like the pressure of like the tournament get to me. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having fun playing this deck. I think it's a lot of fun, and it's different. I feel like it's more of a real Yu-Gi-Oh! deck than anything we're seeing played, like PKs. So I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's going to be more motiva motivated to play. Um, have a good day. Appreciate your uh, views, and subscribe.